In today's video, gents, I've got special guest Isan of the Style Jumper, and we're talking about seven style details that look amazing on bald men. Point number one, glasses on a bald man. Why does this work more than if you've got that head of hair? Because there's no distractions, Antonio. Having glasses with a bald head, a person has to focus on you. That is what you want. You want people to look at you, to look you in the eyes and to be able to connect with them. These ones you're wearing right here, these are these are different. I mean, you don't see too many guys rocking something like this. The circular glasses look great because again, it, and I usually wear a bow tie. Yep. So it reminds people of a professor, gives you, makes you smile. They're already gonna be looking at the bow tie. So now I have three things, yep. the ball head, my bow tie, and a pair of glasses. So very distinctive, definitely someone when you see and you meet Isan, you're gonna remember him. And there are so many options. I think guys that wear glasses, having three to four different types of glasses with different styles. I agree, and it's a great accessory to your outfit. So yep. the different frames, it'll actually make you look a little different. And when people have frames that actually are very pointed, draw attention, it does, the science is clear, it does make you look smarter. Our second point is sunglasses as well. The most common style we're gonna see out there that every man should have, aviators. They look amazing on a bald man, but maybe try Wayfarers, maybe go for a pair of Clubmasters. The thing about shades in a bald man is that, again, like the glasses, you're gonna focus in on that person's face, but with the shades, you're definitely gonna think this guy is probably a badass. Yeah, I can see the association. When people see shades, they think mystery, they think Hollywood, they think celebrity. Mystique. And so, yeah, who is this guy? He's got, you know, he's got the bald head looking like The Rock, looking like Vin Diesel, and he's got those shades. But for the bald man, glasses are where it's at, right? I agree 100%. Next up, gents, we've got color. And let's talk about one color in particular that bald men can rock, and that is the color black. Absolutely, because with the color black, it brings that mysteriousness. It brings a level of confidence and elegance. So I know what some of you guys are thinking. Bald head, black, mixing aggression with aggression comes off as too aggressive. What do you think, Isan? I think it depends on where you're going and the statement you're trying to make. Okay. So if you're trying to really impress someone, black is the way to go and you're gonna look very appealing and sexy. But what about in a situation where you wanna to tone it down? If you wanna to tone it down, I would recommend a gray. Okay. You kind of mute it, makes it a little more calmer, and still sexy and appealing. Now this next one I find really interesting and that is that bald men look better when they unbutton a few buttons on the front of their shirt. They show a bit of skin. For me, this is a repeat of the skin because you've got the bald head, you're showing skin right there and then we see skin again here. Now this goes to a scientific study that talked about when men show more skin that they look more attractive but this is something that we went back and forth on. It's kind of our opinion. Let us know down in the comments if you agree or disagree that bald men can pull this off more but when it comes down to it, I think bald Bald men have to have strong confidence and this is one of the reasons why it works. I agree Antonio. When I shaved my head, I had to realize that there's no turning back. It added my confidence, it boosted me up and I began to believe myself even more because there was no more distractions and having a little open shirt doesn't hurt. So the next style feature that bald men absolutely own guys is facial hair because let's face it, when you stop growing hair on your head, you want to replace it somewhere your face is the natural destination. You, with 32, your hair stopped growing on the top of your head, started thinning out, and you made a decision to shave, and you also made a decision about your facial hair, right? I did, I started playing around with it, actually, Antonio. I did a little goatee, I did my mustache, and then, actually, in the past couple of years, I really decided to dive into a full beard. Now, tons of options out there, guys. I'm gonna link to a video that goes into different facial hairstyles down in the description. As you can see, we've got them laid out for you right here. It can change the shape of your face, actually. So, you can try these different options as your facial hair is growing. Play around with it. You can get it trimmed or take some time to your point and just let it grow out and see and gauge exactly what's gonna look best on you. All right, Jen, so next on this list, let's talk about headwear, let's talk about hats. If you are bald, you've gotta functionally watch out for the sun because it's going to burn your head. So this is a functional tool that you could add to your wardrobe. Tons of options out there. Esau, you are your hat man, right? Yeah, I love hats, Antonio. A Couple of things that I love about it, and this is for every guy. It depends upon your height, it's gonna yep. make you look taller. True. It's an added accessory. It's going to give you another option when it comes to what you can put with your clothes. So you have an opportunity to grow your style just by adding a hat. And you stand out from the crowd, right? Absolutely, you're going to stand out. 
And let's talk about making impressions on people. When people remember who you are, you're the guy, worst case, you're that guy with the hat, but at least you're looked over, not overlooked. Nudie Cohen said that. If you meet a guy or you see a guy with a hat, you're gonna be drawn to that person. So you're gonna look through the crowd and say, this guy must be pretty cool. He's a little confident and he has some variation in the style. Now, tons of hat options out there. We're going to bring up a few images here, but we've got the flat cap, which I know you're a big fan of. We've got the fedora comes in a wide variety of options. We've got the boater cap, which we've talked about actually in another video. This one requires a bit of confidence. Go out there, explore, and let us know down in the comments your favorite cap. So next up, we've got earrings. And I think earrings work for the man that's bald because you don't have any hair that's going to hide them or get in the way. Your ears are more pronounced when you've got a shaven head. And uh, you actually used to wear earrings, correct? I used to wear earrings, Antonio, when I was much younger. Yep. And it was always a conversation piece just to talk about, well, let me see what, what, what earrings you're wearing. And that gave me another option of what I'm going to wear. It could be a small hoop. It can be a stud. And I remember there was a guy that used to play basketball that wore earrings. Well, what was his name? Michael I, I, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Clean, cut, bald head, and he wore a hoop. Whether you like earrings, whether you don't, this again is something that a bald man can bring in. If you have a bald head, you have the opportunity to really bring in a lot of stylistic, a lot of stylistic details that a lot of men just can't pull off the way you can. 